Let's speak about the fingering in uh, the, I call it the old system, the Bach mm -hmm. system, uh, which a lot of the uh, current musicians don't even know nothing about. Is, mm -hmm. is that something which uh, uh, is overpassed or is that something which you still apply? Yeah. Uh, I think more and more uh, musicians are aware about the old fingerings, but I think it's really important to go back to uh, any kind you know, of uh, uh, historical approach when we, we play uh, different kind of music. And I would say that uh, the old fingering is not only for ancient music. When you play Franck or when you play Vidor uh, on the 19th century, the 19th century is already over since uh, 130 years. So uh, that means that even for that, you have to, you know, to think about uh, old fingering from the 19th century. Uh, and each time you have to uh, reconsider your technique in another way. Because, for example, if I play here a, a scale with a, a new of, uh, the actual fingering, you know, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, like uh, any kind of pianist. Okay, everything will be, you know, the same, polite, etc. But if I play with the old fingering, then I will have more articulation because I will just play with that kind of pair of fingers, uh, uh, three, four, three, four. And then I will have more articulations and more uh, uh, life in the music, which is very important. More that, uh, the way you will play the, the, the note is also very important. So you can hear that we can have a lot of attack or not. And then you can make a chord. You can have a totally different sound, and it is very important, you know, to make the music as expressive as possible. Um, well, that that is actually uh, uh, interesting because um, combined with the character of uh, the instrument, which. Obviously, um, this is more pure and more clean, and this is, I'm just trying to... You know, I'm not sure it is more pure when you play uh, uh, equal to pyramid. Because, for example, here, if I do this, uh, um, and now I will play uh, with... All the color will be totally pure. But this is without any kind of vibration. If I do that on the uh, rigueur, then we, you will hear all these um, harmonics, uh, because these pipes have already harmonics. So we can hear a lot. And, and when you play the same notes, uh, a third or, or a quint, etc., then they will just, you know, uh, mix very well with the, 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 the bass note which is not the case on that kind of instrument, because everything is equal, which means everything is uh, out of tune. So here we have notes which are totally out of tune. This is out of tune. This is, oh, this is tune. So if we play the right intervals, then it will be absolutely pure. Well, it's actually like playing on a guitar, and you know that this is not the, the chord. I mean, the chord is is, is uh, not giving you the, the, the note that it was supposed to, yeah. to play. Mm -hmm. And you work around that. Exactly. So it is the same with an organ. You know, we have only, only 12 uh, keys for octaves. So. And sometimes there are organ builders, even on the, uh, uh, at the past, uh, during the, the, the our time, uh, where they, they, they put uh, another key just behind, just to have on the same time, for example, uh, G sharp and A flat, which is not the same note. And then, you, of course, it's more difficult to play because you have to, you know, to, well, it's not that easy. Uh, but, uh, but that's yeah. why I practice intervals all the time, because then you understand, okay, what is a, a small, a third, and a and you can you can actually, but that's another point. You, any, anyone has to do that uh, if you if you study music. But uh, what I'm trying to ask you is also that uh, you see a lot of pe perfect playing musicians mm -hmm. today. Yeah. 
no matter classical music, jazz, mm -hmm. they can play very fast, they can play everything you, you ask them, but the question is, uh, how do you build up a voice, you know, a, like a style maybe, I, w I should say. You always speak about the singing aspect of the organ. How do you teach that or how do you achieve that? Um. Well, you know, the, the organ is just a machine. It's horrible when we think about that. But, uh, when you play the violin, you know, you make your own so sound, and then you, you will also vibrate. You will, and you will have the organ just, you know, near to your ear. Of course, here we have the organ near to your ear. But when you play a big organ in a big church at Notre Dame, the, the pipes are, 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 you know, at 10 meters, the first pipe. So it's, uh, it makes a big difference. And uh, it's important really to, to try to... Uh, to make the, the organ as human as we can. And uh, it's, uh, it's not that easy, I would say. Uh, I always uh, speak with pianists or other instrument, uh, instrumentalists and uh, I, I, I tell them how lucky you are to have that kind of instrument, you know, which is so easy to make music naturally. And uh, each time here on the organ, it's not, it's not that easy because we have so many things to think about. Not first, we have to, to play with feet and uh, hands together, which is already a problem. Then we have to think about the registration. When do we change this? Where do we, uh, you know, uh, how do we mix the, the stops together? And then we have also to think that how can we do uh, to go behind the machine just to try to make it sound like a human person. It's not very easy, but it's a very nice challenge. But then, how would you describe your style? Your, your, I mean, every organist has a different voice, a different style. How would you describe... Uh, because it certainly has to do with uh, the way you, you learned the instrument, the way you were brought up. I mean, you bring in probably a lot of different elements that, in the end, um, creates your sound. Doesn't it? Uh, I think the most important thing, especially with the organ, but the same for any kind of musician, is to be generous. Then if you are generous, then you can do everything. But first, generous, then passionate also. Then, uh, well, for me, you know, uh, I, I love to discover that kind of things. Each time I have a student who will play a piece that I haven't hear, heard for, I don't know, uh, one year, two years, ten years, and it's just, oh, it's like it was the first time that I heard this piece. So, uh, you know, listen and, and just open the eyes like if I was still a five-year-old child. <laughs> 